Watch work. I, stop. I don't want to watch boxing shit on stream. That's like the scariest shit, okay? Boxing is like the fucking keffels of the sports world where they go after your shit hardcore if you're like watching it on stream, okay? I can't do that. They're too scary to fuck with. I'd rather restream fucking movies. I'm leaving. If I, if I don't have 4,000 likes on my YouTube chat, I'm out of here. You better fucking like up, you fucking losers. You're triggering me today. <clears throat> Why does he say stupid shit like this? He's gonna end up getting fucking arrested doing some dumb shit like this. He's gonna shrelly himself. In the ring. No, in real life. <laughs> and we're gonna stalk him and become obsessed with him. And wear his makeup and his dresses. And use his skin as a coat. Like the ancient Irish did. Well, that's your winner, Sam. Hey! Honey. Jesus Christ. Like, I think at some point, I wonder what you need for a direct threat for harassment. Like, he's, yeah, he's like naming like a place, a time, a plan. Like, Jesus. You have, if you see a mentally ill Nazi, okay, on the internet, be like, I'm going to kill Hassan Piker. Okay, I'm going to come to his to house Edwards. and murder him. And you go, oh, this is some information that he should probably watch. Like, he should, he should watch and address this. Okay then honestly just don't post okay stop the stream this doesn't need to be pillic am i crazy or like i want to be careful how i phrase this isn't Hassan being like the biggest pussy bitch in the world like shouldn't this technically be like the thing that he wants the most like imagine if some random streamer had never heard of me before and they were like destiny oh i've seen your boring factorio streams you think you're so cool? Well, I want to challenge you to a debate on politics. Let's see who's cool then. Wouldn't I be like, yeah, let's do that. Like, you've stepped into the perfect arena. Doesn't it sound like he's been lifting his whole life? He's like, all this shit, fit boy, gym guy, you know, brags about it, tweets about it, shirtless pics, whatever. Isn't somebody challenging you to a fight? Shouldn't this be like your arena? We're like, hell yeah. Uh, like, I don't know. Just feels like this would be like your time to shine. You actually, you get to live the dream. You've gone your whole life on on Twitch being like, punch Nazis, punch Nazis. And now you have the chance to knock one the fuck out. Why not do it? Why not do it? This is where all of the ultra autistic retards in my chat who have never fought or lifted in their entire life all come out to say, well, actually, Destiny, lifting and fighting are two totally different things. No fucking shit, Sherlock Holmes. But starting from a foundation of being very tall and very fit is going to get you a huge advantage over anything otherwise. Fucking morons. Yeah, Hassan should dedicate months of fighting training to fight an irrelevant loser. Why not? He already does gym shit. He was already training, like, what, Taekwondo or some kicking shit? I don't know. Why would he not train? And also, if he did win, would this not be, like, literally the most epic shit of all fucking time? Like... You're Hassan Piker, you talk about lefty shit online, you talk about punching Nazis, blah, 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 blah. And then, like, you go and you fucking, like, you actually beat the shit out of one in the ring. Wouldn't this be, like, the best shit of all time? Like, if Fuentes challenged me to a boxing match, you know I'm doing that all day. Hell yeah, this sounds like it would be fucking amazing. This would be the funnest thing in the world. Or if I, or if somebody of, like, comparable stature and time training or whatever. Like, it seems like it would be, like, the funnest thing in the world. Would it, would you not do this? What do you mean by Nazi? True. I actually don't know if Sam Hyde is a Nazi. I have no idea what Sam Hyde's political beliefs are. But I, but I know Hassan thinks he's a Nazi. Hassan would probably win, but on the off chance of losing, Hassan would probably end it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Probably. I don't think Destiny knows how long Sam's been boxing and practicing compared to Soy Hassan. Hold on. Does anybody remember? I just interviewed Hyde like a month or two ago. Didn't Hyde say he's only been practicing or training for like a year or whatever? And then he's only going to do it for a short amount of time and then retire? Am I wrong? Am I misremembering that? Pretty sure he was on our stream and we talked about like the training. How long have you been interested in boxing? <coughs> I'm just curious. Uh, I've been uh, doing it sort of casually for probably over a year. I don't, I don't really want to, because uh, the training's really hard. I don't want to be, I don't want to fight a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. I want to do, I'm going to do this one, and this one's going to be at a huge event, and um, hopefully that will mean that the next one is either with Hassan or for like a lot of money. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, and if that's the case, you know, I'll, I will call out Hassan or I'll just call out whoever makes the most uh, 
business sense, but I'm not I'm not super interested in um, doing a bunch of fights. So this is like a, a year or two tops in for you, and then you just want to be done with it, basically, or? Hope, I hope so, yeah. If Hassan doesn't accept, there's another YouTuber called Vosh, okay? You'd love to box that guy. I think I think Vosh is maybe a little too small, though. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I just want to see him get the shit beat out of him, but, you know. <laughs> um, what do you think? Do you think Sam's been training fucking boxing for his entire fucking life? You fucking moron. If he's been training on and off for a year, if he challenges Hassan to a match in six months or a year, Hassan is a really fit dude. I don't know. <clears throat> the forum is down, Kiwi Farms, because upstream ISPs have black holed routes to our network. When a computer tries to connect to our servers, the global network has no way to reach them. This is a deliberate action from our host. They're not answering my emails, and I do not know why this has been done. However, prior to going down, we were being targeted by a DDoS attack and other forms of attempted network intrusion. It is likely that these efforts disrupted the entire ISP and forced into black holer network. Sup, Destiny, you can watch the roast videotape posted today on Hassan KSI and Ethan on Rumble. Uh, maybe. In an ideal situation, they'll restore access eventually on their own. I'm working on securing the network from DDoS attacks in the meantime. Other service providers are working on a solution which may restore access in the next few days. Regardless of what happens, I will decentralize our setup across multiple data centers. In the near future, there will be no single point of failure. Since I acquired my own network, I've been stubborn and complacent in thinking that such a solution would be permanent. I've been aware of the single point of failure, but decided to ignore it, mostly because decentralization would be expensive. How much do you think the, um, how much do you think the monthly cost for Kiwi Farms are? I thought about actually doing a, um, I thought about donating, but there's like so much to consider for that. Um, obviously I have a thread on Kiwi Farms and I've been the target of a lot of harassment from the site, um, which is annoying. But the idea that a site could exist that somebody doesn't like and they find a way to basically shut it down is really frightening to me. That's pretty spooky. Probably 1 to 10K, depending on how it's implemented. I feel like there's no way the server costs for this site are 10K a month. I feel like it's got to be in the mid four-figure range. But obviously, there's a lot of weird optics in terms of like... I don't think Cloudflare dropped Kiwi Farms. No, it doesn't sound like... I don't think Cloudflare would drop Kiwi Farms. Kiwi Farms have some unhinged general stalkers involved in their community. The amount of information these guys get on individuals um, would be too much to argue for. Well, the thing is, is... Technically, doxing isn't illegal. Now, immoral, probably. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. Kevl's already tried to link you to helping Kiwi Farms and that fell flat. If you actually done to them, that's a different story. Sure, but, like, what? so, like, what if what if somehow in the future we get wrapped up in something and then they come after, like, my site next, right? I imagine there's... Actually, I don't know who has more supporters, Kiwi Farms or me. I don't know how big, I guess, in totality, all the people are. The idea of, like, I don't like this website, so... Because I think... no, I, Is this... Noel is, is Noel the one posting, or is Noel just an admin? I don't actually even fucking know who runs this site. Post the fish. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, Joshua is Noel, yeah. Like, it would be interesting to see proof of this. <clears throat> the mob then harassed innocent people running unrelated third-party services by sending emails in the thousands and threatening their families. The mob claims to be oppressed when they can summon 100,000. I wonder if, like, other people have been getting emails that are, like, people that are, like, associated with Kiwi Farms. I wonder what that looks like. I'd be interested in seeing, like, proof of that, but... Just stop talking about it. If you wanted to donate, doing it publicly is the most brain dead way to do it for both you and them. If I was to donate, it would only be publicly. Why the fuck would I do it privately? If I was donating to an organization like Kiwi Farms, it would be like a principal position that we would talk about. It wouldn't just be me throwing the money on the side to maintain harassment threads about me. You're fucking retarded. The only reason we would do it is because it would be a public affair if I was to do it. I don't even know if I would. Obviously, there's a lot to consider on both sides. There are truly a lot of degenerate fucking crazy people on that site. And the site is the origination of a ton of fucking harassment. But the question is whether or not, like, should we, like, is it okay that those sites can just be black holed by angry people on the internet? I don't know. That's weird. Is it really just a site they don't like? Kiwi Farms has been responsible for causing harm to real people. I don't know if that's true. I think there was, I think there was one site maybe that you could say, but I know that a lot of the guys that like Kefels tried to pin on Kiwi Farms, when I think I read up on two of them and it was like, no, that's bullshit. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Just thinking out loud. Question is, what criteria would a site have to meet where you think taking it down is justified? In my personal opinion, it would be if they're doing something against the law, like illegal stuff would be. I don't think that, I don't think that, when I think of the internet, I think about it in, in a phrasing of like public infrastructure, I guess. And uh, the idea of like cutting off that infrastructure to certain sites because you don't like what they say is a pretty frightening thing to me. They shoveled down and nobody cared about it a week later. Kevils has succeeded in gaining cloud and money off this, but she 100% made things worse for her by rallying the entire site against her and increasing their rank. Yeah, maybe, but like there's so much self-righteousness on her side. Like she has so much mainstream support 
for essentially being like a dog shit human being, right? Like Kethels is legitimately like one of the worst people I've ever seen on the internet. But because she has like the trans side to back her narrative up, she can go so much harder than like almost any other person I've ever seen with so much more support. It's like insane. Like in any other context, that person would be seen as like a hateful, harassing bully. Um, that would be it. Like who, who directs mobs of bullies. That's all they would be seen as. But because she's on like a certain political side, um, yeah, I don't know. That's just, that's a little worrisome to me. I can't, and you, I can't even, this is wild to me. Ke Wait, does anybody have a link? Somebody said that Keppel said she wasn't suing anymore. Does anybody have a link to that statement? Because I don't want to say it, but it's not true. But I saw somebody say that she's not suing anymore. She basically, she got swatted, quote unquote. She got swatted, quote unquote. The cops showed up at her house, arrested her for a single night. I don't even know if she stayed in jail overnight. She made $100,000 off of that. Um, she made $100,000 off of that. And now she took the money and she's moving to Europe the site so that's pissed off a lot of people which is probably the intent of saying that to be honest he's not going to give me any fucking money um but he wants to piss off people and I, actually i say some pretty terrible things about uh, destiny to, like as he's um they have to they have to like by the way i want to interrupt just real quick yeah uh, queen queen kafals have been trying to get uh medicare and destiny banned from from twitter yeah and this this tweet was from six months ago and i find it very funny um, Destiny said something about how he was thinking of donating to the site, which is pretty strange because I rail on him constantly. Because I, <laughs> and, um, like, like very unabashedly, I say some pretty terrible things about uh, Destiny. To, like, as he's on the site, and I said I would never talk to Destiny because I don't want to be associated with him. And he's just like casually floating the idea of donating to the site. So that's pissed off a lot of people, which is probably the intent of saying that. To be honest, he's not going to give me any fucking money. Um, but he wants to piss off people for free, which is very easy to do. Right. So um, people are reporting him for ban evasion and shit. And Keffel said this uh, six months ago. We can use this moment to send a message about the consequences of financially supporting Joshua Moon and his efforts to keep Kiwi Farms online. People should feel scared to stick to their... You're not actually going to do that, right? I don't know. Not sure. I don't know. The thing is, in the fight between like Keffels and Kiwi Farms, I would support Kiwi Farms 1 million percent. I don't know if I'd actually put my like foot in the ring and like actually throw money towards a particular cause, but the idea that like Keffels and like the online bully squad can like run around and like try to shut down everything and go crazy about everything that they don't like, um, I think that's a really, really, really troubling prospect. That's more scary to me than Kiwi Farms because everybody knows that Kiwi Farms is a toxic trash website. That's not like up for debate. Everybody knows that, but like Kethels has like mainstream support because she has the right like tags in her profile. I think that's like really, really, really wild. Do you think sites like Kiwi Farms should exist? If you can legislate against what they do and make it illegal and then you want to shut them down for being illegal, that's fine. But I don't think that you should be, um, I, it's too much power to be like, I don't like this site, so I'm going to get it shut down. That's wild to me that's insane and it's actually happening right now like kethels has like bullied K kiwi farms like offline through like this multi-pronged like offensive which is like pretty wild to me what are the chances to be losing a surfshark sponsor surfshark sponsors all sorts of shady shit <laughs> it's surfshark surfshark that deal slash destiny but if i lost it, it's not like a huge they're not like a big money driver for me it's just like a sponsor that i do every month because they seem to like me but can you remove Kiwi Farms URLs from the automated filter on DigiG to show your support? No. I don't like the idea of people in my community posting on Kiwi Farms or associating with those forums. I don't think it's good. I don't support what Kiwi Farms does. But I don't like the idea of like the online bully hate mob being able to shut down um, being able to shut down sites that they don't like. That's really scary to me. What is this? Twitch's alt-right to Kiwi Farms debate destiny manifesto crime downplay profit cycle was a straight line with one thread. What the fuck? Delete, deny, deflect, gaslighting witnesses. Oh my god, <laughs> bro, holy shit, these motherfuckers are wild. Is this all because you had Nick on your stream? No, it's because of the comments I made about bankrolling Kiwi Farms, which I don't even know if I would ever do, by the way. But I, I just, the idea of like this hate group, like being able to shut down websites that they don't like is super fucking scary. 
It's wild to me that Catholics was able to steal $100,000 from people and move to Europe. <laughs> oh my God. That, like, and nobody even cares. She stole $100,000 from people, said she's not going to, like, there's no case going up in Canada. And now she just fucking banked it. And now she just moved to Europe. That's wild to me. Oh my God. Actual clown world shit. Can't you DDoS some website? If the website can't afford DDoS protection, what's the big deal? Well, apparently they went after Kiwi Farms in a lot of different ways. Now, maybe, maybe not. To be fair, I don't think Null has posted proof that it was um, Caffles that took them down, but people are apparently nuking the site in a lot of different ways right now. Can you elaborate on the 100 grand thing? Sure. So to be clear for the story, Caffles lied about being swatted. She initially said that she woke up to a gun in her face because people had sent fake emails. What actually happened was, was the London, Ontario, whatever police showed up at the door, they had questions for her, and they had emails that were sent with her dead name to Canadian politicians saying that she'd show up to their house and kill them all and try to kill all cisgender people. Um, so after a conversation, they took her down to jail. Um, she lied about being deliberately dead named over and over and over again. That wasn't true. What actually happened was some evidence was marked with her old name, her dead name, because she had a, already had a rap sheet in the system and that's how they archived it. She was never dead named when she was in jail. She was let out the next day or that night. Her computers and all of her phones were returned to her um, that next day. And what happened was that she raised money saying that she was going to launch a suit against the London, Ontario police, who, by the way, are probably, just from what I've been told, like the most progressive police force in the West. Somebody told me that like two weeks prior, they literally had like a trans police day or some shit. It's like an unbelievably progressive, it's an unbelievably fucking progressive police force and district and area in the Western um, hemisphere. But now she said, uh, she tried to go to some place. She keeps like poking the, the, the bee nest. She's like fought against Kiwi Farms a ton. I don't know why anybody would ever do this, but she keeps fighting against Kiwi Farms. Apparently they doxed her twice after she went to a hotel. And now she's like, okay, well, I'm gonna move to Europe now because I raised 100K and I've got the money for it. So now she's going to Europe. She's probably never doing a lawsuit against the police because she has no lawsuit, but she raised $100,000 initially trying to say that like the London police force had basically swatted her, broken down her door, pointed a gun in her face and locked her up. And she's on TV like crying, giving interviews with tears streaming down her face about it. Um, Kiwi Farms keeps poking the bee nest and gets fucked again. Who the fuck cares? Kiwi Farms brought it on themselves. Um, to some extent, that's true. Again, like Kiwi Farms is like a pretty shitty site. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, Kiwi Farms is a pretty shitty site. But like, I think on the principle of it, if I want sites like mine to stand, because I get accused of every bad thing that Kiwi Farms does, even though Kiwi Farms is legitimately way worse than my community. But like, if I stand by silently and I let a, a, a community like Kiwi Farms get effectively like black hold from the internet by the Keffel's hate mob, like then my side's next, right? People like me go next. I don't I don't think that this type of behavior should be supported by anybody. And nobody else is gonna speak out against it. I feel like I have some responsibility to say something because the reality is, is that a lot of large creators probably are happy to see sites like Kiwi Farms go because Kiwi Farms is generally hated by every streamer. I mean, I kind of hate Kiwi Farms. I have a threat on me, it's really annoying. They try to dox my fucking kid's mom and shit. It's a fucked up thing. Um, the, it's like, a, it's a fucked up site. I think there's legitimately like a lot of really disgusting stuff on that website, but I mean, like, it's the internet. If they, if the servers exist somewhere else, if they've gone through everything, like, yeah, I don't know. Is there any way you and Keffels could end the beef? Um, I don't know. Um, probably not. Why would she want to? She gains so much out of fighting with people like me. The internet is the wild west in some ways. The reason you shouldn't speak for Kiwi Farms is because Kiwi Farms can't reasonably make a case for themselves. It's impossible. Oh, it's the Sam High clip. The problem is that, here's two problems, is that one, um, Kiwi Farms is everything they're doing, in my understanding, is legal. And then two, um, oh, fuck, I had another point. What was it? Everything Kiwi Farms is doing is technically legal. The internet is a wild west. Oh, and then two, like, I think the principle of, like, websites should be able to stand so long as the web. Oh, oh, no, shit. The second thing I was going to say is, like, Capital's attacks on Kiwi Farms aren't even truly legitimate. If she wanted to attack Kiwi Farms because they were doxing centers or whatever, I might actually be a little bit more okay with it, but Keffels isn't attacking Kiwi Farms for being a doxing website. Keffels is attacking Kiwi Farms for having caused like five or six trans people to kill themselves. That's not true. Um, I started digging into some of the stories for at least two of the ones she cited. The idea that those could be blamed on Kiwi Farms is absolutely fucking not true. I don't know about the rest of them. I think of all of them I read, I think there was one where it's like, ah, uh, KF might've contributed to this one. But the idea that Kiwi Farms has caused like five or six different people to kill themselves, I don't believe that's true. So she's lying even in the allegations. And if she's willing to do that, like why wouldn't she come into my website and say like, oh, like, uh, hold on, what is this comment? Destiny, and so is Keffel's, 
Everything she's doing is legal. I'm not telling you to deplatform Keffels or to take out Keffels. I'm just saying that I don't think it's okay for websites on the internet to buckle to bullies and to be shut down because somebody doesn't like the website. The way she tweets out of context clips and all the mainstream media attention on it is simply not worth it. Um, okay, my bad. All right, well, I don't want to talk about any of this, I guess, because I can't have a stance on anything anymore relating to this. Um, I don't think I have any more Red Pill people to talk to today, so I'll just, I'll go, I'll come back in two hours for my panel, I guess, because I don't want to accidentally give an opinion on anything that might be too controversial for this. So let's see who's streaming, my bad. Oh, I didn't reach 4K likes. Well, I'll be right back, guys. I hope when I come back, I have 4,000 likes. Otherwise, man, you guys are in trouble.